well. Sorry. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you all had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome. Um, I did work on Fry's Quest uh, this weekend. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, I can't even remember what it says, too. I, I looked at it at one point. Uh, can't remember what it says. I'll have to do, I'll have to do the Google Translate again on it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta tune in to see which t-shirt I'm wearing. Um, I did work on Fry's Quest. I got the hair selection stuff done. So it has hair color and hair style. Uh, bald being one of them now. So if you want to check out my uh, where the hair, the player customization stuff is, go check out the Discord. Really just hair and hair color is done. So, hey, Justin. Um, well, I wanted to get more of it done. I could, I could just integrate the hair if I wanted to, and we could be doing the hair, but I figured I'd do more than just the hair. Uh, uh, well, the, everything I want to do is, yeah, it's an Eggman t-shirt. Yeah. I can't, I want to say it says something like go Eggman or something like that. I mean, it's got Sonic down here. I don't know what this says. Someone needs to take a screenshot and go put it in Google Translate. <laughs> what? My shirt. It's just a shirt. Who cares? <laughs> I, I bought the damn thing. There, yeah, there's no genital selection as there is in Baldur's Gate 3. Sorry. Yeah, what? the character creation is much more complicated in Baldur's Gate 3. You can pick your genitals? You can. How do you even see them in the game uh you i guess bulge I don't, I don't know i haven't played i haven't played Baldur's gate 3 so oh, oh you see them says shipwreck with your eyes Neil. <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> yeah all right so what i had on the list was uh some facial expressions so eyes and face um, hats, skin tone, glasses, beard, and beard color. And so I was going to do all of those. And I've gotten hairstyle and hair color done. I wanted to get all of those done before releasing it. So I just always want to say, oh, nudity you, happens. You are not your character. It doesn't matter what you look like. Yeah. Oh, so does he eventually get called Eggman? Starting in Sonic Adventure. Okay. That's cool. I guess that's a... I mean, I guess his head is kind of egg-like. Yes. Anyway. All right. Um, well, we're, we're continuing in Tears of the Kingdom, trying to gear up in order to take on uh, Ganondorf. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Looking for... Looking to upgrade the armor. Looking for shrines. Uh, that's where we're, we're pretty much where we're at. Um... As always, we can take a break and play a game off the arcade like Pac-Man. When is Pac-Man ever on there? But it is right now. <laughs> hair Zero is a vibe. Yep, there is Hair Zero, and there is a reason it's Hair Zero. Because <laughs> I wanted it to be nothing, right? <laughs> I wanted it to be ba bald. <laughs> uh, but there is a Mohawk on there as well, which I thought was good. And this is all stuff that's default with the with the stuff I bought. So it's not like I can go and and I, I'm not an artist, so I'm not I'm not editing the 3D model or anything like that. Moth Gibdos. What? Oh, yeah, I know those. Yes, the Gibdos. Look at my horse. I got the white stallion. I was hoping... I, it, I, I, it wouldn't let me get it. Oh, yeah, I got it. Look at that. He's beautiful. You might, How much... How much... Uh, how many... How far around does your stamina go? Uh, Two and a quarter, maybe? 
Well, that's what I have. Well, I had to do it twice, so maybe... I, I, I did it so many times he jumped off the bridge into the water. Oh, come on, Eggman. It's a match. Okay. I can tell you where the horse god is. I found the horse god. <laughs> Yeah, he's still kind of, uh, he needs a lot of soothing. You need to give him an apple. Can I give him an apple? How do I give him an apple? It's like you, uh, you, you get off of him. Yeah. Right. And you an hold apple. an apple and, and he'll grab it. He, there he goes. Yeah. Oh, he liked that. <laughs> he is a good boy. Or in the way. My herb. It dropped arrows. I don't think I've ever seen it drop arrows before. I don't think I need a... So oh, well, I guess I got it. <laughs> His mustache is a little bit similar to my mustache. Oh, Willie? He's stepping on them. Come over here and eat them. I don't want to eat so many of them. It's like he has the path to each one of them. I'll just let him do what he does. Back over here. Now he's happy. He's got no stamina. All right, so what we're trying to do here is collect Collect some fireflies. Oh. I had enough fireflies for that dude. I didn't have a lot. I'm trying to remember where I went to get them. What are those? Oh, those are squirrels. We have to do it at the right time of day. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. I was about to make a fire. I think I did it. <laughs> I think I found a bunch on, a, on an island in the sky. And yeah, they were right over here. But I guess it's noon. Do I have to be at night? Maybe? It's not as easy as Xenoblade. Here they are. What? Oh, well, Xenoblade, you just basically just your time. Mm. 
You've got no patience to do this. <laughs> It's true. Sometimes you just have to stand there and let them come to you. Well, I've got my little friends. Stop. They don't, the friends won't chase them away. No, but they keep having me activate shit. Why are you hitting A before it? You shouldn't hit A before the thing tells you you can grab it. You're not doing it right. <laughs> That's why I have you here, Neil. Tell me how to play these games. off in the distance. Exciting, I know. do I have? I have 13. I have enough. So. They're quick. now. It's because the horse has more patience than you. I got two more. Yep. Alright, come on. <laughs> Heading back to the kid. Kid was who was the kid? He was in a tree. He's over here, yeah. Huh? Do you do you have some fireflies with you? I'm sure I see a glow coming from your pouch. I need ten more of these sufficient fi sunset fireflies to make that tr glowing tree. There you go. Ah, oh, really? You have them? With your fireflies and some 
I've also collected, I can attract even more fireflies, and then I can make the glowiest of glowing trees. Um, while you're helping, can you do me one more favor? Oh, great. This will only work when, when the fireflies are glowing. So I'd like you to bring Haiti to this spot while it's still dark. If you don't have time, bring her on a different night instead. <laughs> oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you if you say I'm working on this. Okay, see you both later. All right, well, that's no problem. It's 1.55 a.m. I'm sure she'll be fine with that. Stranger comes and asks, please follow me at 1.55 in the morning. Oh, wait, is that... Yeah. Oh, good evening. Piper isn't back, even though it's night. Honestly, where did he go? Huh? All right. What's this all about? Right. Are you actually going to follow me? Yeah. Piper wants to show you something. Right here? Eh, ah. Uh... <laughs> wow, he collected a lot of them. If he only needed 10 more. <laughs> This is so much prettier than the one I once saw in a book. It's just like I see it in my dreams. Thank you. I saw the best glowing tree ever. I feel really happy. <laughs> happy, did you hear that? Yep, finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for Haiti. But it's going to take more than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. I figured out I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll bet I'll get better and better at playing my flute. More fun, more amazing, because if the crowds love my music, then Haiti will too. And she'll always smile when she hears it. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. You helped me with all sorts of stuff. So you can have this if you want it. A big hearty truffle. Ooh. I'm heading out soon. If we meet again somewhere, my music is going to make you grin from ear to ear. All right, so now we can go back. Poof, he's gone. All right, so... Now you have to go back to the... I've got to go all the way back. I kind of feel yep. like we should just... Uh, <laughs> Well, there's probably a shrine over there. Yeah. Travel by map. Travel by map. <laughs> but I've already kind of found all the things going this way. <laughs> Gotta get my Hylian tomatoes. Teleport behind this bush so no one sees. Because they would freak out if they knew Link could just instantly teleport anywhere. They'd be like, what? Huh? I'm gonna land right on the stage. Ah. Uh. Ooh, Pass wants me to play arcade mode. Yeah, yeah. What do you want me to play, Pass? Ah, it's you. Look, I mean, listen to this. Our Piper's here. Our flautist Piper has made his triumphant return. Who knew how smitten Piper really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I've yet to experience firsthand. <laughs> okay. Why is he telling us these things? That's kind of personal. 
Well, anyway, <laughs> the return of Piper's delightful fruit has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. Every member is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters. In my heart, we'll always be the stable gallopers. If you have done so much for us, I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. That's five thank yous from the five of us. <laughs> and Link at. Attention, everyone. This is a new start for the Stable Trotters. May our performances let the great fairies know all travelers. No, no. Let everyone in the world be awash in sweet, soothing music. <laughs> but I'd rather save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, traveler. Are you here to... Here out of concern for the great fairy? No. No, am I wrong? You're not here to meet with the great fairy Keisha? Perhaps you came here to visit Outskirt Stable. This is all the stuff he was saying earlier. No. I'm sorry to say the great fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud. It hasn't come out for in a while. She must be scared to appear, just like what happened at Woodland Stable. This great fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troop. She loved the sweet notes of his flute, so I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now. But the road has been blocked by some rocks that tumbled out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we did make it about halfway. But the rumbles just the rubble's just too much trouble. No horse can get past it, and our little jaunt took a toll, alas. Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop, has broken down yet again. Our Breezer has been seen us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in our performance. Damn wagon. Aww. I know. I'm thankful Piper has returned, but I, I'm so worried about the Great Fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual flair. That, that wagon... Uh... That wagon is the biggest antagonist in this game. <laughs> yeah, so Juice and I have uh, the soldier's armor at two stars and the soldier helm and greaves at one star. So, yeah, so we've gotten, we've gotten them. You didn't have enough to do? I didn't. I probably do now. I have, I have gotten some guts <laughs> since then. Because I kind of walked from place to place. I could probably teleport back and see if I could upgrade him. But I kind of wanted to see what this um, fairy was going to do. All right. I will put on Link's hat. But first, or as I'm do <laughs> as we're going into arcade mode, I'll put it on. But first, Pass VGC wants me to play Mappy in arcade mode. No, no one is ever that excited about Mappy. like Mappy. Weren't she the one that wanted me to put it on here? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I like it. <laughs> really, I had you put it on there because I always thought uh, it was funny. Like, oh, we have a raid. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Captain. Captain Jim Rayner, uh, how are you doing? Welcome, everybody. What were you up to? My friendly My neighbor. Friendly neighbor. Mm. Neighborhood. Neighborhood. <laughs> My friendly neighbor is a whole different type of game. What were you? You were looking at an ad for what, Neil? Something about my uncle neighbor or something like my that. My uncle neighbor? My neighbor it uncle. It looked like another Dream Daddy dating simulator game. Well, welcome, everybody. We're in the middle of playing Breath of the Wild, but we are about to take a break and play some Mappy off the arcade machine. 
<laughs> Bioshock meets Resident Evil meets Sesame Street. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's kind of horrifying. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Well, thanks so much for the raid. Uh, everyone should go give Captain Jim Raymer Rainer a, uh, a follow. And let's play a clip real quick. If I could actually type his name. Here, let me... I'll mute Mappy so we don't hear Mappy in the background. Uh-oh, poker. I think we might have played this last time. I actually <laughs> you raided. I not believe you for some reason. You either have an 8 or an ace. Fuck it. What do you got? Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh, look at oh. that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Physically, oh my God. physically, I'm, I'm ill. I, I, I would be ill too if that happened. I, to I am so <laughs> fucking unwell right now. Oh, my. Cool. That's awesome. Well, thanks. Thanks so much for the raid. I hope you had a good weekend. I am going to find out what the high score is. 46,050 is the high score we're trying to beat here. Uh, I guess real quick, thumbs up or thumbs down to the season finale of Strange New Worlds. I don't want to go into too many details if people haven't watched it yet. Thumbs up. I, I enjoyed it. I didn't like the ending. <laughs> or the lack thereof. Or the lack thereof, right. <laughs> well, and also, well, here's, here's another thing that I... I was bugging me while I was watching it is that um, it puts people in danger, but we know they survive <laughs> because they're in late because this is a prequel. So we know they're going to end up alive. So yeah. A summer of 90. I totally remember what it was like in the summer of 90. Cause that was, that was the year I was graduating high school and was going off to college. And I remember even back then, there were rumors kind of like, is Patrick Stewart leaving the show? Uh, this is For those of you who don't know, that was the year Best of Both Worlds cliffhanger happened. It was that, it was that summer. The problem is, um, because of the writer's strike and the actor's strike, uh, we could be waiting like a year <laughs> or more. <laughs> this may not be coming out till... I don't know, the end of 2024 at this rate, if not early 2025. So depending on when they, the, uh, the actor's strike or the whole strike ends. So I've heard, I've heard that they have some of the, um, the scripts done for the season before the writer's strike happened, but they did not start filming. Yeah, yeah, season five Discovery at the beginning of next year. So, and, 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 um, uh, lower decks in a few weeks so yeah the strike yeah that's uh well so they recently had a star trek convention in las vegas and basically the actors couldn't talk about anything they could talk about acting but they did, couldn't talk about acting on star trek or anything like that so yeah it must have made for an interesting uh convention all right <laughs> well yes uh yes <laughs> one of them did continue and yes they did <laughs> yeah yes it definitely did that shipwreck it was it it you had like uh if you just take the last several episodes you went from happy crossover with lower decks to very serious mash like war story to a musical to a horror gorny thorny gorny situation so <laughs> that's good he is jack quaid is awesome he really carried that i thought he did a great job of uh in the crossover episode 
I don't know how much of uh, Tawny Newsom is an actress or an actor. So, um, but she did fine. She did fine. I love her in uh, Lower Decks. So I just love Lower Decks. I think Lower Decks has a great heart to it, right? And I think the showrunner um, uh, Mike McMahon is a real big Trekkie. So, and that's what you need, right? He he's he's formatted those shows. Perfectly, right? <laughs> yeah, there was always, there was some people are like, oh, well, Star Trek is never like that. There was always like lighthearted episodes, even back in the original series from, you know, Trouble of Tribbles, you might say the uh, piece of the action, all those, those episodes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You haven't really seen that since Strange New Worlds came out. Of TNG, then Picard seasons. Yeah. Well, so Picard went with the... Ser it's the serialization versus... Well... Even when... Even when... Deep Space Nine did serialization... It... It still had individual episodes with a, a story... Right, it may have been a bit longer arc, but it still had a whole story there. Uh, one of the things I don't like about Discovery, I love the characters, I love the actors, but the story is one one story over ten episodes. I'd rather have ten single stories, so even if there's a thread, still has me emotionally unwell. <laughs> It was really good. It was really good. All right, let me play Mappy. <laughs> Thanks again, Captain Jim, for the for the uh, for the raid. I don't know that I would ever say anything good about Picard. <laughs> it was all right. It was certainly better than. Season one or two. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did not like season. Five. That was like uh, an afterbirth. <laughs> See, season one was a uh, stillborn child. Season two was the afterbirth. But it's not easy for me to come up with these <laughs> metaphors. Yes, I, I guess that's true. I like that it's over. I think I had you put Mappy on because I remember reading somewhere that uh, Namco thought that, that was going to be the big game, and not Pac-Man. Which I think is hilarious.
Yes! Perfect! Close. Hey, Murray!
I beat it! 49290. <laughs> <laughs> I was on fire. That was a good first game. <laughs> All right, let me update that high score real quick. Can't believe that. Ten twenty three. 2021 that that score was almost two years old all right well do you want me to keep playing pass or do you want me to get back to uh some uh breath uh breath of the wild tears of the kingdom I can do that. All right, let's play one more.
That wasn't fair. Final note! Beat it again. <laughs> Fifty two two forty. And then I beat it twice in two tries, too. <laughs> All right, so now should we go back to Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> Let's go on and take on Ganondorf now. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> All right.
Now for a game that's completely different. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta figure out how to get these people back up to their... Let's see, Pona song with the flute now. Well, there's this, there's this obvious thing right here. Like, where are you taking our... Oh, is there a control stick? What is this guy? Stop. I think I see one. I guess there's no reason that for me to like sit with them. I'll just sit at the front like that. Hyper's returned. Get in. I'll handle it. I've been waiting for those very words. Everyone get on board before he changes his mind. <laughs> Here we go. I don't care about you folks. Uh, you just need to stay put. We're gonna go off road and up this way. Don't mind. Oh, stop freaking out. Oh. <laughs> all right well he didn't like that route let me look at the route here all right let me look at the route Obviously, they can't take it too steep. Okay. So here we are. So it looks like we need to come up this direction. I probably came up the wrong direction. So probably this way. Hmm. So maybe... Along this route here? Alright, let's try it. <laughs> Get on board! <laughs> Hey, Mellow Monkey! Welcome, everybody! Get on board! Oh, shit. They're in the wrong direction. Stop freaking out. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Mellow Monkey! Thanks for the raid! We're gonna be transporting some of those people right there. <laughs> hey! How's it going, everyone? Thanks so much. It's a banana raid. How was your stream? Yeah, transporting people. Yeah. State of Decay 2. 
They made a sequel? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I haven't played State of Decay. I don't know that one. Not on my list. I need, I start need, I need like descriptions now. State of Decay is a survival video game developed by Undead Labs. Well, thanks for following. Well, cool. How was it? How was your stream? How did it go? Haven't played it in like two years. Well, we just played, we were just playing Mappy off of the arcade machine behind me. And I beat my high score that I hadn't beat in like two years. And I beat it twice. <laughs> and that was awesome. It was a great time. Well, cool. All right. Everyone should go follow Mellow Monkey. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Red Syrup. And uh, let's play a clip. Let's play a clip from Mellow Monkey. Make words happen. <laughs> My mouth sucks. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. I won 45 motherfucking daughters. Civilization. Oh. <laughs> To just like real quick. <laughs> yeah, those clips, they seem to be sus. <laughs> well, nonetheless, go give Mellow Monkey a follow. <laughs> All right, we're going to transport these people. We just tried and they <laughs> fell over. <laughs> Thanks for following. And so now we're going to try it again. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right, we think this is the route. Hopefully they won't freak out too much. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. All right, we did it. We got, we got past the hard part. Oh, you know what? You're not hearing any of the audio because I turned it off during the clips. There we go. They made it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the lurk and thanks for the raid. All right. So now, now you're going to get the, the fairy coming out. As if she isn't gay already. Playing, I think keep thinking they're gonna play Star Trek. Care is an option in uh, Fry's Quest that I'm working on. <laughs> look, Piper! Look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. <laughs> she's also huge. Thank you again. I have a reward for you, and it's much. It's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble. You deserve this. Thank you. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. Yeah. Our musical troupe has fairly is finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved. I'm inspired. I'm beside myself with joy. Oh. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on despite all these obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerged in response to our music, it gave uh, all of us in this troupe confidence in our playing. Mm. If you ever want to hear my beat, stop by my by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. Uh -huh. 
The show's not over. Far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making audiences smile all over the kingdom. Uh. It's up to us to pour all of our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. Oh. I consider you an honorary member of our grand stable trotters troop. Might I know your name? Link? Oh. Link, uh... Hmm, so, that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters no more. In honor of this genuine hero, let us be known as the Stable Heroes. <laughs> she thick. <laughs> she is quite big. Hmm, uh. you're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy. I can tell it was you, even while I was hiding. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing you. But you get even cuter when you're blushing. <laughs> mm. I really can't thank you enough, young man, but that won't stop me from trying. If you have the materials needed to enhance a piece of clothing, I will gra gladly help you. So why don't you let me take a peek in that little pouch of yours? <laughs> what? Uh? With, with the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Mm. Well, see, I don't have... I, I guess I need to go back to the other one to get these two. See, I don't have enough Moblin Guts. I thought I had more Moblin Guts. Oh, I guess they can do... She can do anything. Hmm. Boy, she's expensive, too. Well, let's... I guess we just need to the maximum. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, wait, hold on. Talk to her again. She's back. All right, so we need, we need Moblin Guts. We need four, I'm taking notes. Or maybe I'm not. Moblin guts times four and two, four. And then we need 10 eyeballs. And then we need, why does she need 30 flint? Although I guess at that point it would be pretty maxed out. Okay. Yeah, what I was saying, I, was, I said the other day was like, what is she doing with this stuff? Like, why does she need Moblin Guts? What is she concocting? Is she trying to kill us all? Is she going to make some sort of poison elixir that is going to kill all the Hylians? That's Bow Coblin. What's a Moblin? Bring me to your guts. <laughs> so what region are Moblins mostly known to be in? The thinner, taller ones? Oh, okay. I guess they're all over, aren't they? Uh, 
Oh, good point, Murray. Thank you. I did, and yes. Crap. Oh, stop. Stop going crazy. Talk to you. Well, I was able to get everything in the dishwasher but the food processor. Oh, I forgot you were making banana bread. He's not falling. What are you talking about? I'm always waiting for him to. Do what? To jump up like that and hit it and knock it down. Knock it down. <laughs> All right. So what you're saying is, oh well, so don't I have to? Oh no, you're right. I can. Wait. The mobling guts, that's the ones I need, right? But do I need I do I have to take a picture of them? Or no, I have to go to the compendium and look at the monsters. Right. I don't know if I've oh wait. A ba a black moblin. <laughs> Stop looking that I know I've got a lot of butt pictures. Um, yeah. What does the fox say? <laughs> exactly, you gotta snap that pit. What? 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 How is he flying away with an arrow stuck in him? Sometimes you have to do two. I guess so. Wow. That was like an ironclad bird there. It's amazing how worthless money is compared to just from the time we were born. Oh, how worthless money is? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's amazing how much it's changed since the time we were born. Like, since the 70s. This is a Holiday Inn ad from 1972 in Georgia. Um, I mean, you could take value of money in different places with a grain of salt. It's talking about buffets, and even the Friday night seafood buffet is four dollars and twenty-five cents. I think 
uh, when I was in Portsmouth, I paid 16 bucks for a breakfast buffet that was pathetic. I hate this creature, but I love the music it plays when I play. You love what? I love the music it plays when, oh. <laughs> when you're fighting him. When you're fighting it? Yeah, it. I actually get this, uh, I get this stuck in my head. I don't really have a good uh, board for this. I don't, I don't have like a. I'm just gonna run. Away. You need a rock. I need a rock. I didn't realize I was so deficient. a rock right there. Not be the right kind of rock. Hey, I need that. <laughs> you always threaten that, but then you come back. Yeah, I mean, I don't need those guys. Oh no, I was talking to Barry. Oh yeah. Alright, well have a good have a good one, Murray. Thanks for stopping by. I know it's pretty late there. Well, let's see. Oh no, that was just the sound it makes. Actually, we need to take a break. We haven't we haven't taken a break yet. Let's play some Fry's Quest! Exclamation mark join if you'd like to play some Fry's Quest. For those of you who came in the raid and don't know what Fry's Quest is, it's a basically an RPG that I built for the stream. Uh, basically, eight players from chat can join in through, through chat <laughs> and fight some monsters, gain some experience points and gold, level up, upgrade armor, etc. Shadow Dragon's gonna get us started. Two percent off when you spend ten thousand or more. We need to change that audio clip because things cost ten thousand or more now. So you a do what? not get a discount. <laughs> you have one audio clip that says, "Get a two percent discount if you spend ten thousand or more." Sweetie. But I actually have when they stuff. Finally in, show up. I have stuff in the store that's uh, ten thousand or more. Are we? So it needs we, to be like two million or more or is something. Is the like shopkeeper that. going to have to have inflation? Yeah, yeah, you already have inflation. That was back when we didn't have we just had the stuff that was in there and it didn't change. Congrats, Shadow Dragon, on leveling up. Ready for action. Ten thousand and one and more. <laughs> Get a two percent discount if well, I, I think, feel like it. I think yeah. <laughs> Hot tip, I never do. <laughs> Ready for action. Yeah, I guess we didn't, I just didn't, we didn't think ahead far enough. <laughs> yeah, big buy one, get one at the same price. Ready for action. <laughs> well, I did lower the price. If you buy one, I'll give you another for even more. <laughs> I think that's the sort of thing he would say. Yeah. Ready. 
ready for battle. Time's up. Have fun watching the floor. <laughs> All right. I'll be right back. See you in a second. Having a special today. Ah, uh, nothing. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for action. I used to be an adventurer like you, until I took an arrow in the knee.
for having a special today. Ah, uh, nothing! You all heal too much. I need to raise these prices. Ready for battle. Ready for action. You all heal too much. I need to raise these prices. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Shops closed. Have fun counting sheep. Oh, is it Justin, are you trying to hit target, target one? We, uh, you killed it. We we programmed the database to not accept your commands. Just <laughs> or like every other one. I can't remember. But you did. For, I mean, the first time I looked at it, you hit. So. Yeah. Oh. realized that I couldn't actually put the correct high score on the on the website it was 52 to 50. I was too quick in the updating of our of, of the website I didn't do it a second time
Yeah, the hair commands aren't in yet, Shipwreck. That's, that was all in a test build, and I haven't upgraded it, or I haven't sent it to this build yet. I have to test it more. I want to get more of it, it done. <laughs> Make you more aerodynamic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I don't think I want to take another one of these things on, so <laughs> we're not taking that thing on. What thing? Uh, a Gleok. It's the elect. It's the electric one up there. Oh, the dragon. Dragon, yeah. I already, I already took on one of them, so that was enough for me. No, they're not. Well, you can go. I clipped it. All right, made a highlight out of it, so you can go check that out. I didn't, I wasn't trying to get the chest. I didn't even see it. up there. How do I turn off that? Or will it, is it still doing shrines or is it just doing those things? Just moblins? How do I turn it off? I see. Aha, it's up there.
Oh shit. Mmm. That's dusty raw bird meat. Holding up, I will also open up that coke with the other hand. Multitasking. <clears throat> Diet Coke is trying to choke me. I thought that was a hot springs for a second. <laughs> mighty bananas in the wild? I've never seen mighty bananas in the wild. Joju Yu Yu Shrine? Building bridges. Isn't that what we're all trying to do? certainly was not. <laughs> hmm. I seem to need more slack. Let's see if we can do it. I, 
I'm hitting A. Stop being a uh, crunchy. There it goes. That's what we needed. I. Oh my god, I still fell. Happy. That's what you had to do. I, I guess you can't attach it to itself. But I thought I needed to do. Uh -huh, I see. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna set this up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna attach it and then then knock it over. Why don't you just put it in front of it? Never mind. I have to make it as difficult uh, okay. as possible. You know yes, I, I truly believe that. <laughs> I do. I believe it. Oh, maybe I'm not close enough. That'll stay. <clears throat> oh, it's up there, eh? Yeah, 
Not large tonight. That's that bad. I would probably die if I had to rely on toiletries from the dollar store. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. That's kind of random, but I'm looking at a dollar store <clears throat> app, and it's like on campus essentials. Various products. But you know how I am in just about anything. Well, especially it's toilet paper, I could say. I'm the, I'm talking about like soap and shampoo and mm. you know how I am about anything with a an odor. <laughs> yeah. Neil is sensitive. Neil's a sensitive person. Exactly. Today's stream is not sponsored by the dollar store. <laughs> well, at least I said the dollar store and not the actual name of it. Yeah. I, it's funny. I, I used to go in there like years and years and years ago. But my thought always was like stuff in there was shit 30 years ago. How bad could it be now for the same price? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> I don't know how the dollar store has well, kept. They went up to a dollar twenty-five. Well, I guess. Uh, what do you have, Flaming Baguette? Do you have uh, like the pound store? Or I don't even know what money is. And... The euro store. No, no, he's in Northern Ireland, so that's the UK. That's the pound store. Oh, that's true. Pound and land. land. That's what pound it is. land, which I thought that was some place Murray would go to a lot. The potato store. Well, I mean, like Murray would probably have something different. I, I don't oh, think they true. use pounds in the Republic of Ireland. They use something. Oh, else. I think he called it Pound Town, something like that. <laughs> now, that just sounds like a euphemism. We're gonna take the train to Pound Town. Yeah. Hey, Sab, how's it going? Going all right. Doing pretty well. Yeah, everything he says sounds like he's going to. That is true. Oh, look, he's standing out here, too. Interesting. It's a square.
That's all we wanted was your prime meat. Ew. What? It's nasty. It is a simulation tongue. A simulated tongue? Why would you need a simulated tongue? I, it, I don't know. It's... It's... Remember I was talking earlier about that weird app, T Timu or whatever? Yeah. This is a not, like the competing one, which is called Sheen or Shine or... I don't know. Shane. Uh, like some weird... I don't know. It's like Wish, I guess. <laughs> they sell crap. This this is uh I don't I don't know how you pronounce that exactly. Oh, they're up there. I don't like these guys. I was hoping for just like regular bad guys. Oh, were they the ones that hang on the ceiling? Yeah. They are funny when you hit them with something yeah. and they drop and they act <laughs> like their butt hurts. Yeah, I know that is. It is funny. I agree. But I don't need them. I need moblins. Which ones are moblins? Are those the big tall ones? The tall ones. I need, actually, specifically, I need their guts. A mighty thistle. Remind me of like the Wizard of Oz or something. <laughs> I, I don't like them either. Uh, I think they're easier to contend with in this this than they were in Breath of the Wild. Were they in Breath of the Wild? I don't remember. Yes, them. they were. It seemed to be easier to kill though. Uh. destroyed the village it's ruined mm -hmm. no way we're getting close to all those monsters around hmm? why do i get the feeling we're being watched oh. oh hello ah were you were you planning to visit uh lurlin village you might want to make other plans if you value your life not to ruin your travel plans but as head of the village it's my duty to protect locals and visitors alike 
You see, you see over there, monsters have taken over the village. I don't know what they're, if they're after food or supplies or what have you. But the minute they arrived, they started acting like they own the place. Oh. By some bit of luck, everyone from the village managed to escape in one piece. But with their homes destroyed and nowhere to live, well, the villagers have scattered to the four winds. If only those monsters weren't there. Master builder that I am, I'd have those buildings fixed up in a jiffy. There's certainly been an increase in monsters lately. I wonder if it's because of the upheaval. As they seem more uh, aggressive, too. I never thought I'd be bold enough to see launch an attack from the sea. They're behaving like pirates. As long as even a single one of them remains, it's too dangerous to go anywhere near the village. Ruffian-infested village. All right, well, let's, let's do this. Oh, is that the pirates? Yeah. They're just regular. Yeah. Things. I was more interested in the shrine. Oh no, it's not one. It's one of these where I go in naked. The shrine imprisons and purifies a the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Blow. Laughing at me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why didn't you wait for the boat to come along? <laughs> well, I didn't know there was going to be more than one. They shot the light the water. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll 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 be the first to admit this one is hard. Okay. Um but I think you're, it requires more patience. Yes, that was a death, if you could please. Oh, Zab did it. Of course, he died. It's a yep. it's a death. If it says game over, it's a death. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot the stuff. You know me and patience. Yeah, I really don't understand how you do the things you do for work. Oh, 
bow. Trying to figure out like why I couldn't go up that ladder. There was some, there was something going on there. Can I, I probably don't have any food. Can I eat these? <laughs> killed me. Oh, man, that was so close. <laughs> there you go. I forgot in these you actually do have to kill them. I remember correctly what I think I did was I hid behind boxes. Yeah, that's good. That's a good And strategy. waited for the empty boat to come. Oh, there's an empty one? And then like I systematically took out ones I could get from that boat and I would hide behind the post.
Oh, I my I guess I dropped my bow. Crap. When it shocked me earlier. There it is. I was like, what? Why is it not? Naked. Everything in this one is careful management. <laughs> Ah! 
<laughs> I was trying to flurry rush it. <laughs> Stream XXX? Yeah, of course. Uh, triple X. This is the dirty stream. No, it's the 30th stream. Or 30. I love this. In Roman numerals, that's XXX. Guess what? The next one will be XXX. <laughs> yes, that's the way Roman numerals work. Yeah, exactly. It's another ad for Krakatoa underwear. Krakatoa. Your Wear ass underwear. is going to explode. And your ass will erupt like Krakatoa. <laughs> it would be like naming your... Uh, your your underwear Mount St. Helen. <laughs> I don't understand what it's doing there. Why is he getting caught like that? Um... Oh, 
Oh, is there one more? Where's the last one? Oh, there he is. I don't think that really did much to it, but... Ooh. I hate that this one's about to die. It's 130. It was like my rock star. Here, we'll dr we're going to drop this one. Every so often I see some picture or clip, someone here in Florida, the bear outside their door or something. <laughs> caught on like oh, a, an actual bear. Caught on like a doorbell cam. Yes, the animal. Um, and I'm always so glad that I haven't done that. that happen. All right, so let's um we're gonna we're gonna come back we're here let's um because there could be moblins in there it looked like so i think we'll we'll work on that but first i wanted to get um another heart
another shrine. Oh no, I've fallen. <laughs> oh no, I'm in the I'm in the fire. <laughs> Thanks, Arcade Bear. Twenty two months. As always, I am always amazed. It seems like we haven't been doing this Twitch thing for very long. It turns out we have. Ooh, a fishing harpoon. Monster forces. Oh, this is all the... Okay. <laughs> it doesn't and it has. Exactly. It has and it hasn't. Well, it's kind of like the typical... Um, like... Uh, I'm vampire that the uh, that the pandemic caused I guess kind of is with everything why can't I pick it up oh my goodness I've forgotten how to play this game oh, there he is Oh, fuck. God, what am I doing? Doing terrible. Like, why can't I go in there? <laughs> Where's that shrine? Nice. Aha, there's the ones we need. Where's a bomb arrow? Oh, that's good. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll eat the stuff that's gonna make me glow. Oh, that wasn't one of them. It needs to be the ones that are really tall. I see. Those weren't... Those weren't moblins. Those were... Something else. Oh, 
I'll just use up this one thirty. <laughs> It starts with an L. What are you looking for? That was a Lizafros. Yeah, I was confused. Oh, there's only half of them are dead now. Well, they're on the ground too. Are they all? Are they... I'm interested in where the shrine is. Seems to be this direction. how much light I'm putting out. Below. I need descent, not just ascent.
Oh, poor horsey. like a cave or something. Oh my god, I've seen everything. <laughs> now what? Amazon Medical Care. Well, I've they never are doing, noticed this. They are doing pharmaceutical stuff. They're doing pharmacy? They're yeah. doing a clinic? For common conditions? And 24-hour virtual primary care provider. I once did a virtual doctor. It was the strangest experience I ever had. Slow motion. Yeah, that's right. Well, why can't I equip that? It's like if you're in the middle of a swing, it won't let you. Oppenheimer? What what about it? We've seen it. Oh. Slow motion explosion. Well, I was kind of glad they didn't go for like a super realistic mushroom cloud kind of thing. It never works. Yeah, 
shit's gonna. I say a shit's gonna fall off the edge. That's a shame because his horn is a really good. Is a really good one. I know. Yeah. You just have to go down there. Funny if those spikes killed me. Yeah. Um, one thing they do point out in the movie that you should always remember is the idea of creating the bomb was the concern that the Germans would end up with it first. Um, it just so happened that they hadn't finished before the end of the war. I'm not going to say that I think they should have dropped it, but... Um, In, in real life and in the movie, Oppenheimer did have he had sincere, reservations. Re sincere re re reservations and regrets about its use. And he worked very hard at trying to keep um, thermonuclear bombs from coming into existence. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, it cost him his career. I don't know, I think it's one of the things that they do. You are pretty weak. Oh, is that why they're flying? That was not a Moblin. It was not. I know, I shouldn't have attacked. All right, so let's head. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, they're the real tall, skinny ones. With the little narrow head. I haven't ever been to Japan, but the idea of being in something as confining as airplane seating to go to some place that's even more confining than airplane seating. Never struck me as a good time. Yeah, 
Now, if we could go somewhere, where would you want to go? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe drive around the United oh. States? Canada? <laughs> I always wanted to take the train to Banff. From, like, flying to Calgary and take the train to Banff. Um... Yes. I've stayed in one of the uh, big Canadian Pacific hotels, so the idea of staying in more of them is appealing to me. Yeah. Was something my dad always talked about wanting to do and uh, he never got to do it it was something we had planned to sort of do as a family and just never did just never did yeah um but i mean it it's supposed to be exceedingly beautiful uh trip and and location to go i've always uh, kind of wanted to take the road, the going to the sun road, which is uh, in Montana. And that is the road that at the beginning of The Shining he's driving on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know what you're talking about. And it's only open for like five months out of the year because the rest of the time it's got snow all over it. <laughs> Driving around the country sounds nice. I mean, visiting yeah. California was nice because uh, we knew people. Uh, I remember when we went to Vancouver, you were like, everyone's so fit. We seem to be the fattest people in Vancouver. I felt like I was the fattest person in Vancouver. I mean, being in Florida, I know I'm not the fattest person in Florida. <laughs> Flatman. man. What? Flat man. Oh, oh that. Yeah. Uh well if you've uh I don't think it says it anymore for you. No. I that's why I'm adding my own commentary. I mean, I travel around so much that there's no way, I mean, I'm going to be in the same spot <laughs> between two blood moons. Yeah, I know. That wasn't Zelda. Then why was fake Zelda warning me about the blood moon? Maybe, uh, maybe it was like... Bloating. <laughs> Could be.
one of those. I don't love those. Playing their music. This isn't the one where you have to take them across the river, is it? No, this one I think was just up this hill. Uh oh. It wasn't all that all that bad. I'm not a fan of that group. <laughs> not a fan? Mm -mm. No, they're 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 pain in the behind. Oh, not the master sword. Got a lizard. A lizard. A lizard. Come on, I was just gonna get your apple. This has become like Wizard of Oz. It's get some wood. Never know when you'll need wood. Sundalion. What? A Sundalion? Oh, yeah. Those are good to have. I saw a pretty funny TikTok. There's this, there's this uh, TikTok of, uh, of a... Uh, Of a police officer falling down a glide in like Detroit or something like that. Some someone put in like using rewind on him and he went. Rrr. They did a good job of making it look like uh, the same thing from Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, there's a something like there. I'm king of the mountain. Yeah. I don't have them rendered this high up. I up so yeah like like that guy uh they don't uh, uh it's funny it doesn't always populate the yeah that's uh, what i was saying the monsters like you'll see the the like the thing they live on but there's nothing on it when you look through the binoculars mm -hmm.
Oh, it's a octo. Yeah. Oh, I hate those things. Oh yeah, this is you know I didn't come back to this place <laughs> since saving them. Oh no, it's his glasses. <laughs> this looks like Mongolian barbecue. Okay. All right. Well, not going to be any bad guys in here. I need more. I need. Let's take a break. I can't type Rise Quest. Freeze Quest. Freeze Quest. Today only, 2% off when you spend 10,000 or more. Ready for action. Ready for battle. High rule field or central high rule depths is where it, is say, it says it's the best place to find moblins. So, I guess we'll go back to high rule field. <laughs> You're already pre rigging it. <laughs> pre rig. Good luck. You'll certainly need. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. See you in a second.
them to Neil Steele's. You're not satisfied until you're not satisfied. Ready for action. Ready for action. Ready for battle. Ready for action. Have fun storming the castle. Today only, 2% off when you spend 10,000 or more. No, we aren't calling Ready those meals here. Ready for action. Ready for action.
ready for battle. Shop's closed. Have fun counting sheep. You're already pre-rigging again. <laughs> hey, some got it. Rigged. <laughs> Should I put like the percentages ahead of time? That would be interesting. I don't know if I have it pre-calculated though. Recalculate those. Oh, you're, you're muted, Neil. I said it's funny that I did very well with pre-calculus, but very poorly with actual calculus. Where did I say? Hyrule Field. Basically, Hy where, where I was, of course. We have it set up for the people who are in the stream as often. No, I'm just kidding. That's no, not no. true. <laughs> well, so it, it's basically how much damage you're, ta you're doing is, is, is what it is. So, like, um, the more damage you do, so, of course, higher level of characters, or higher level, uh, would do that, right? You oh, can't. What are you doing? Basically, I can't fly right over that. Hey! It's a raid! It is a raid! Welcome! How's it going, everybody? Hello, Bowling Bear. How's it going? How is Pokemon Stadium 2? Welcome, Raiders. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We are playing 
Tears of the Kingdom right now. Hey, there you are. Welcome. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly it. Arcade Bear needs to get good. Poor Arcade Bear. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Bullet Bear. How's it going? It was great. Knocked out a couple of the cups. and Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't... Uh... What was it? Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, I haven't... Well, so... my I am early in my Pokemon career. What's the next one? Where is it? Pokemon Black 2. It's the one I'm going to be playing soon. I've got... Uh, Byro and this 3DS Castlevania game, and then and then Castle. Wait, this, are these in order? I think I've screwed up the order. Yeah, that and that. Yeah, then Pokemon too. Yeah, right. And of course, Chef's Love Shack coming up. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's uh, play a clip real quick from Bull and Bear, and y'all should go give him a follow. Hey. Playing some Mario Kart. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness! Doing fine. I saw Bull and Bear that you recently hit a thousand followers. No Congrats. <laughs> oh my god. This is insanity. I don't know how I <laughs> You're welcome. Um yeah, thanks again for the raid. Alright, we are in the middle of just trying to we're getting close to the end of this game, but we're we're trying to uh I'm just gonna... Oh, thanks for following. I'm just gonna... Beam over this. <laughs> Matthew J has so many emotes. So we're heading this way. We're trying to we're trying to collect Mobin guts so that we can um, upgrade our armor. That's basically and looking for any shrines that we may may need. Although I don't think I'm gonna find three more shrines. Or taken on again, but you never know. Oh shit! Here come the hands. Uh oh. They're just like you fight them for a little while and then they they spear. Ah, I got me. Got me. All right, thanks for the lurk, and thanks again for the raid. Oh, did I break my bow? You can just beat on them, too. I know. Comes Phantom Ganon. Here he comes. 
Oh, he's my favorite. Oops. What am I doing? Phantom Ganon, he's the best. I love me some Phantom Ganon. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh my god, what did you do? Flurry Rush. Oh. You gotta remember, you gotta figure out how to do that. <laughs> yes, I do. We don't want the gloom sword. We'll take his dark clumps, though. If you, uh, his bow is, is good. Yeah. Sure there's a ton of arrows that I threw in the ground here. Oh well. Wait. Oh. Yeah, I hate that I, I down to forty arrows. Are. Herb. A Hyrulean herb. You are really all about that. I love the Hyrulean herb. And all I can ever think is it's because it's a hot reference. Oh, there's one. He's white, though, so probably a tough one. No, oh, they're never too tough. <laughs> they're like, this is exploding. Okay, we shouldn't use the master sword. Or maybe we should. Um, it well, I mean, if you've already used it, you I, might as well. I just used it. Yeah, because you have to, like, wear it out. Got one. <laughs> we got three to go. <laughs> one you didn't have. That's one we did not have, and now we do have. There you go. summon here. That's a good idea. I'll turn my sensor back on. Oh no, you said go to... Ah, go to map. Hit Y. Turn it back on. Although that's the black one specifically. I just want moblins in general.
Hyrulean Field. Here we come. Woohoo! Are you okay? Yeah. Just checking. You alright? <laughs> Everybody's so creative. Well, good morning. Oh, he's back. It doesn't seem like he's been gone long enough to have actually got to sleep. have actually gone to sleep. Yeah, probably not. I used the master sword to hit kill a choo choo. Most tablets don't like my stream. I'm joking, I have no idea. I don't like your stream. <laughs> I did it now. Wow. It was like, why are you wandering around this game? Wander, wander, wander. Wander. Oh no. Oh wait. <laughs> I didn't realize we were so close to, uh... We were so low on health. Yeah, but you've only been gone for maybe three hours. That's three hours of sleep, Murray. Unless, I guess, you were maybe sleeping earlier, woke up for a little bit, and then fell back asleep. to a hangover. <laughs> Time is different in Ireland. Hmm. Is that what Sundays are for? Is that why it's a day of rest? I don't think it's the day of rest from your hangover. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not what it's if that's not what it was originally for no <laughs> i know he's turning all that water to wine Come on. 
So it said they're down here too. So that's why I was kind of heading down here. There is one right there. Hit a puff shroom. Find his guts. Did I get his guts? I'm not sure how many I had. No, I had more than I had two before. Oh, nice. Thought maybe his. I wanted his guts, but I didn't get them, and I don't know why. I thought it always was, though. What? Moblin guts. What? 100% drop. They always drop them. See, that's not one. There's two over there. They seem to be happy. They seem to be cheerful.
Yeah, I don't think maybe the ones under underground don't um don't drop them that often, maybe. Moblin guts are dropped by blue, black, and silver moblins. But what about like <laughs> underground ones? to farm a mob Alright. I gotta stop using this st stupid weapon. Doesn't say the ones below drop. I see. It says blue, black, and silver ones may drop them. Well, this one looks like a silver one. Well, kill it and see what happens. Yeah, I think he might have dropped. It. He did. No. He, he did, did drop one. Because now I have three guts. They suggest the Ak Akala Islands, Deep Akala, and Hyrule Field. Uh, that's where I was. Deep where? Deep Akala. A-K-K-A-L-A. -A. And the A-K-K-A-L-A -A Highlands. Oh, yeah, that's where I was. Well, I didn't go into the other side. I guess I'll just kind of go back up. Oh. I can't remember how many I needed now. I figure I needed six. Hmm. I guess it doesn't have to be sunny outside in order to, <laughs> to actually get your hearts back. You just need to be on the surface. Correct. Yeah. They're rare. Yeah, my I'm after high nut scouts. We'll sleep till noon. And the monsters will all be awake. Yep. But it's raining. Do.
Andy, oh fuck! <laughs> I must have scared it. Hilarious. Ouch. 33. Funny, I have I had over a hundred arrows. Of... Ooh, that was a good shot. He's run away. I didn't see him in this tall grass. He was this way. Bought myself a little rechargeable fan that'll set on a desk so I can walk around to desks and have a little fan. It's always hot in the office. <laughs> Fridge. If they have any. Do you have moblins? We are looking for the moblins. Give us all the moblins. Helps if you hit them. Oh. I think it's funny he's got a little light on the end of his horn, like I know. Is, is he is he supposed to be like one of those fish? It's like, where is the, the place? Sometimes they have this armor on. Mm, that sometimes works. What's really fun is if there are multiple things and you shoot the puff thing at them, they get confused and fight each other. Is that the weird flower? That might be the weird flower. I've been 
trying to practice my flurry rush. It's like we're in the middle of a fight. Excuse me, I've got to pick all these chests. Where are they? Oh, there he is. You, I'm saved. I despaired thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Oh no. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. And then defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The blood moon. It is my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the blood moon? I thought if I studied the monster's ecology, I would discover something, uh, but I got too close and here I am. Please take this for saving me. Ooh, a two-hearted salt grilled meat. Hey. On second thought, you deserve more than that. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, a four-heart sneaky meat and seafood fry. Oh. No, I can't insult you with that pathetically small show of thanks. <laughs> take this too. Okay, that's better. Fairy tonic. Five, six, seven hearts. This powerful recovery elixir harnesses the power of fairies. How do you make that? Do you have to cook fairies? Yes, you cook fairies with monster parts. It has a sweet fragrance. The night is a new moon. Hmm. The new moon is hesitant to show herself. Perhaps she's shy. Oh. Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now, quick, let's split up before a monster spots us. Oof, he's gone. All right, I think that's where, oh, I like how the cage is going. Um, not that. I thought I had a, yeah, a rock hammer. Ooh, blackened crown. All right, there were no moblins in here. Which is upsetting. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's end this thing. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. I'll be back tomorrow. I, I really wanted to upgrade, um, upgrade my armor one more star so we're, we're probably going to try and get more guts and then we will try and uh, there was i highlighted a shrine and then maybe that'll be it found two models and i told you to save just so you like <laughs> i don't remember that but i'm sure that sounds like something i would do <laughs> thanks for following Thank you so much. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. So I'll be back tomorrow night 
9.30. Let's gear up a little bit more. I'd love to get one more heart too. So maybe if I get that shrine, I probably need two more shrines. So we're probably going to have to look for two more shrines. Um, yeah. And then we're going to take on Ganondorf. So maybe stream 32, maybe we'll see. So maybe Wednesday. I was hoping to finish this game this weekend, but oh well. Um, thank you to all these people, starting with my husband. Thank you, the lovely and talented Neil WTF, who's always by my side. Yes. Thank you, Neil. You're welcome for being here. I never, I, I knew about the KFC Twitter account being the Five Spice Girls and Six Guys named Herb. That is correct. But I never knew that the first person to notice that got sent this painting of himself holding a chicken leg, riding piggyback on the colonel. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Justin. Thank you for being here. And thanks, Murray, for waking up, falling asleep, and then waking back up. <laughs> um, if you can't be here live, go check out my YouTube channel as well. All the VODs are there. And then all those uh, subscribers get all those emotes and ad free viewing. And thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the stream. I am still working on Fry's Quest. Got all the hair stuff done, so I'm going to try and work on it some more. If you want to follow along on my building of Fry's Quest or, or making suggestions along the way, uh, I am going to work on in increasing the font size and stuff like that too. Um, it's just such limited space there. So we'll come up with something. There is some wasted space. So maybe maybe I could come up with some sort of like, yeah, I don't know. I'll come up with something. Maybe it's something that's behind instead of, hmm. Anyway, uh, I, will, I will work on that. All right, here's our raid messages. Let's see who's out there that we can raid. Your mom. My mom. My mom is not awake. She, she goes to sleep early. That's true. Hours ago. Hours and hours ago. Probably around the time I started streaming. Uh, maybe not that early. But close to it. Oh, Super Nimble is gone. Let's see what he's up to. He is playing Delta Rune. I have never heard of Delta Rune. But I think that is where we're going to head. Let's head over there. I can't type it in uh, in his chat. That would be uh, bad. All right. That channel is intended for mature audiences. Viewers discretion is advised. I just like saying that. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for being here. Thanks for all the raids. Thanks for the bit, Justin. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for the resubs. And shall we be off? Thank you again. Stay safe. Be kind. And uh, I don't know. See you next time. See you tomorrow. We love all y'all. <laughs> love y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye. Zinga. Bazinga. <laughs> <laughs>